submarines aren't just big machines under the sea. They show how strong a country's navy is. Because they can hide and move silently, they play a big role in naval battles. So is your country going to be on this list? Do you know how many submarines your nation has? Currently, an infamous country holds the number one spot, and you'll be surprised to learn which one it is. You might be assuming the United States holds the top spot when it comes to submarine, but there's another country that's claimed the number one position. Prepare for an enthralling adventure as we unveil some remarkable facts. And without further ado, let's start with the countdown. Number 14. Venezuela The Venezuelan Navy, known as the Armada Boliviniana de Venezuela, is typically reported to have a fleet of only two submarines. The submarines are of the German-supplied Type 209 class and are equipped to carry the relatively advanced Atlas Electronic SST-4 SEAL wire-guided torpedoes. However, there are significant concerns regarding the operational status of these submarines, with doubts raised about whether either of them is currently in a seaworthy condition. The Type 209s are relatively dated designs and overdue for replacement. They were delivered in 1976 and 1978. They have received some upgrades during their service, including an improved weapon system, but remain dated. To tackle this, Venezuela is covertly developing a miniature submarine. This mini-sub shares a notable connection with a model recently tested by the U.S. Navy SEALs. The submarine in question appears to be a VAS-525 model, which is believed to be designed by GSE Trieste in Italy. Soon enough, this mini-sub could potentially stand as the Venezuelan Navy's sole submarine, completely decommissioning both current ones. At number 13, Spain. Spain has two Galerna-class submarines and one S-80-class submarine, Isaac Peral, to be commissioned in November of 2023. But bear in mind that the Galerna-class submarines are to be replaced by four S-80-class submarines. Now here is the interesting story about this. Spain's plan to build four advanced submarines with a hefty $3 billion budget hit an embarrassing snag. The submarines turned out to be too heavy, putting them at risk of sinking. Navantia, the construction firm entrusted with building the S-80 submarine fleet, has grappled with engineering miscalculations, resulting in submarines that exceed their intended weight by up to 100 tons each. While this may seem relatively minor compared to the submarine's overall weight of over 2,000 tons apiece, it's more than sufficient to send them plunging to the ocean floor. Despite the overall size of the submarines, this extra weight could possibly cause problems. Spain now needs to decide whether to make the submarines lighter or longer to fix the issue. Lengthening them will mean a complete redesign and more money on top of the $680 million already spent in efforts to revive these submarines. At number 12, Portugal. Portugal has two Trident-class submarines, S-160 and S-161. These subs are wrongly placed in the diesel-electric class. Their propulsion is exclusively electric, with electric motors powered by batteries. These batteries may be charged while submerged by fuel cells through inverse electrolysis, for which this submarine carries a huge supply of liquid oxygen and hydrogen. They are armed with torpedoes and anti-ship missiles. Their armament varies by individual submarine. Trident-class submarines are also equipped with advanced sonar systems for detection and navigation, incorporate stealth features to minimize acoustic signatures, and have communication and navigation systems for maintaining contact and precision positioning. Before we continue, I'm curious. From which country are you watching this? Let me know in the comments below. I love seeing how global our community is. Okay, now back to our countdown. Number 11, Canada. The Royal Canadian Navy currently operates four Victoria-class submarines. Canada acquired the Victoria-class submarines, initially named the Upholder-class, as second-hand vessels from the Royal Navy, and they were delivered between 2000 and 2004. These submarines, with a length of around 70 meters and a submerged displacement of approximately 2,200 tons, 
are powered by diesel-electric propulsion systems, allowing them to operate both on the surface and submerged quietly. They're armed with torpedoes for anti-submarine and anti-surface warfare, though the specific armament may vary. Equipped with advanced sonar systems for navigation and detection, these subs are designed with features to minimize their acoustic signature. While they play a role in coastal defense and surveillance, they've faced maintenance challenges and limited operational use in recent years. These subs have seen limited use since 2017. Between 2017 and April of 2023, the Canadian forces allocated $1.9 billion for submarine maintenance, with three of the submarines collectively spending 529 days at sea. Notably, in both 2019 and 2020, Canada did not conduct any submarine operations, as reported by its National Defence Department. But things are getting interesting. According to information published by the Ottawa Citizen on April 4, 2023, the Royal Canadian Navy is seeking to purchase up to 12 new submarines at a cost of $60 billion. However, the acquisition of new submarines encounters several hurdles. Historically, the Navy has grappled with challenges in training an adequate number of submariners to crew its existing fleet of four submarines, let alone expanding the force to 12. Time will have to tell how it plays out for the Canadians. Number 10. Germany Germany, at number 10, has six operational subs. These are Type 212A and Type 214 class submarines, to be specific. The Type 212A subs are known for their advanced air-independent propulsion systems, which allow them to stay submerged for extended periods, increasing their stealth and operational endurance. These subs are, of course, equipped with torpedoes, but have been strategically designed for various roles, including reconnaissance and coastal defense. The Type 214 subs, on the other hand, are larger and feature AIP technology as well. They're versatile and capable of conducting a range of missions, including anti-submarine warfare and intelligence gathering. The Germans are known for their engineering, and it's safe to say they've built some sturdy machines. Number 9. Australia Australia has six Collins-class submarines in its fleet. The subs are the mainstay of the Royal Australian Navy Submarine Force. They measure approximately 77 meters in length and possess submerged displacements of around 3,051 tons. Armed with torpedoes and equipped with advanced sonar and sensor systems, they excel in anti-submarine warfare and reconnaissance missions. Interestingly, Australia is poised to unveil plans for the acquisition of up to five American Virginia-class nuclear-powered subs by the 2030s as part of a groundbreaking Pacific Security Alliance with the U.S. and the United Kingdom, as revealed by four U.S. officials. Within the framework of what's known as the AUKUS, or AUK-US Agreement, it's anticipated that at least one U.S. submarine will make port visits to Australia in the coming years. Furthermore, by the late 2030s, a new generation of submarines designed with UK blueprints and integrated with US technology will commence construction. Notably, nuclear submarines possess extended underwater endurance compared to their conventional counterparts, and their enhanced stealth capabilities make them more challenging to detect. At number 8 is Italy. Italy has a fleet of eight active submarines. These subs belong to the Todaro class and Saro class. The country developed the Saro class submarines way back in the 1970s to counter the underwater threat of the Soviet Union. Italian shipbuilding company Fincantieri built these vessels in Monfalcone. Fincantieri has also initiated production for the first of two cutting-edge submarines, marking a crucial phase in the U-212 NFS acquisition program for the Italian Navy. This initiative becomes especially vital as the operational lifespan of the currently deployed four Soro-class submarines approaches its halt, given the increasingly complex scenarios in underwater operations. Now it's time to turn our gaze to the enchanting neighbor of Italy, France. At number 7, France's submarine fleet encompasses a total of nine submarines. Both nuclear attack submarines and nuclear ballistic missile submarines all integral components of the French submarine forces. The nuclear attack submarine contingent comprises the Rubus class and the Suffren class. 
Within the Rubus class, there are three submarines, while the Suffren class boats have two. Now let's look into the realm of nuclear ballistic missile submarines. France currently deploys four Le Triomphant class strategic missile submarines, or SSBNs, stationed at Ile Longue, Brest. Among these, the initial three Le Triomphant class submarines are armed with 16 vertically launched M45 ballistic missiles, each housing a TN-71 thermonuclear warhead fitted with six multiple independently targetable reentry vehicles, or MIRVs. These are just as dangerous as they sound, and since 2018 they've been undergoing upgrades to accommodate 16 M51 thermonuclear warheads with an extended range of 8,000 kilometers. The fourth and final vessel, Le Terrible, was commissioned in 2010 and is equipped with 16 new M51 submarine-launched ballistic missiles, or SLBMs, each carrying a nuclear warhead featuring six MIRVs, and these Le Triomphant class submarines are slated for gradual replacement by a third-generation subfleet commencing in 2035. At number six, the United Kingdom. The Royal Navy Subservice represents one of the Royal Navy's five principal branches, occasionally referred to as the Silent Service due to its emphasis on covert and undetectable operations. The service commands a fleet consisting of six nuclear-powered fleet submarines belonging to the Trafalgar and Astute classes, with two additional Astute class submarines currently in various stages of construction. Additionally, it manages four nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines of the Vanguard class. These subs play a pivotal role in the nation's defense, all being nuclear-powered vessels. Armed with the versatile Spearfish torpedo, these subs are equipped for both anti-submarine and anti-surface warfare roles. Their arsenal includes Tomahawk cruise missiles, enabling precise land-based target strikes. Beyond combat capabilities, fleet submarines excel in surveillance and reconnaissance missions. Often labeled as attack or hunter-killer vessels, they fulfill a range of strategic roles. The United Kingdom's nuclear deterrent is entrusted to the four Vanguard-class submarines, which employ the Trident missile system. Each of these subs has the capacity to carry up to 16 Trident II D-5 missiles, with the potential for each missile to accommodate as many as 12 nuclear warheads. As of 2022, the UK government adheres to a policy of not disclosing details regarding current stockpiles, deployed warheads, and deployed missile figures. Understandable. At number 5, Japan. Now we're stepping it up. Let's jump into the big numbers. Japan has a total of 22 submarines. The country's sub-fleet encompasses several classes, each tailored to specific missions within the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force. The advanced Soryu class diesel-electric submarines are renowned for their stealth and versatility. Serving in roles such as anti-submarine warfare and reconnaissance, there are a total of 12 submarines in this particular class. The Oyashio class, another diesel-electric branch, focuses on anti-submarine warfare and has been active since the late 1990s. There are nine submarines in this class as of now, and on top of this there is the Teigai class, which is the newest class and has two latest submarines in this category. As expected, Japan is quietly upgrading its sub capabilities, adding some of the stealthiest boats in the world to its fleet to maintain a competitive edge over China. In March of 2023, Japan's Ministry of Defense officially received the Hakugai, the latest addition to its submarine fleet, which was constructed by Kawasaki Heavy Industries. This vessel represents the second unit of the innovative Teigai class diesel electric submarines and boasts state of the art lithium ion batteries, significantly extending its underwater operational endurance. Functioning as a hybrid, this diesel-electric submarine recharges its battery system while in motion using the diesel engine, seamlessly switching to battery power once submerged and in operational mode. When relying on batteries, the submarine operates virtually silently, distinguishing it from a nuclear-powered counterpart that cannot power down the reactors. This technological advancement marks a substantial stride in enhancing Japan's submarine capabilities. At number four, China. Next is China, 
the People's Liberation Army Navy Submarine Force, Plan SF, constitutes the submarine branch of the People's Liberation Army Navy. Currently, Plan SF maintains a fleet of 66 submarines, encompassing both nuclear and conventional subtypes. It encompasses a variety of operational submarines, which are organized into three fleets, the North Sea Fleet, the East Sea Fleet, and the South Sea Fleet. Submarines have consistently ranked among the top three priorities of the People's Liberation Army Navy, alongside aircraft and major service combatants. Even as the focus shifted in late 2006 towards bolstering air defense and postponing aircraft carrier construction, submarines have retained their prominent role as the leading assault force in the Plan SF. It currently deploys a diverse array of submarines, showcasing its commitment to maritime capabilities. These include two classes of ballistic missile submarines with additional units under construction, the Type 096 submarine with a NATO designation of the Tang class with six planned and two under construction, and the Type 94 submarine with a NATO designation of the Jin class with six in service and two more planned for the near future. The historic Type 092 submarine with a NATO designation of the Jia class marked China's pioneering venture into nuclear-powered submarines, commissioned in 1983 and armed with the JL-1 SLBM. And now, let's finally proceed onto the top three of this list, with number three sitting as Russia. Russia's submarine fleet includes approximately 70 submarines. This fleet comprises various classes of subs, both nuclear-powered and diesel-electric, with roles ranging from strategic nuclear deterrence to anti-submarine warfare and intelligence gathering. It is worth noting that the Yasin, Borei, and Kilo, Typhoon, and Delta classes present significant concerns on a global scale. Specifically, Russia's Yasin-M ballistic missile submarines are anticipated to launch the Zircon hypersonic cruise missiles from the ocean, which could potentially usher in a new era of maritime warfare threats by 2025. As a matter of fact, the implications of this advancement extend beyond conventional warfare, potentially altering the balance of power in maritime domains. In Russia's favor, the ability of these subs to launch hypersonic missiles from the ocean allows for greater flexibility and reach, enabling Russia to project its influence far beyond its immediate borders. At number two, the United States. The U.S. sits at number two, and this might leave you wondering which country holds the first spot. But the U.S. is not far from the crown. It boasts a formidable submarine force comprising of a total of 71 submarines. These subs fall into four operational classes, namely Ohio, Los Angeles, Seawolf, and Virginia, all of which are nuclear-powered. The U.S. Navy fields three primary types of subs. First, ballistic missile subs with the singular mission of carrying nuclear submarine-launched ballistic missiles. Second, versatile attack submarines equipped for anti-submarine warfare, anti-surface engagements, cruise missile launches, and intelligence gathering. Third, cruise missile submarines, which share a similar mission with a specialized focus on carrying and launching larger quantities of cruise missiles. As mentioned earlier, a distinctive hallmark of the U.S. subfleet is that all of its submarines are nuclear-powered, underscoring the Navy's commitment to advanced technology and multifaceted capabilities in the realm of undersea warfare. Today's submarine force is the most capable force in the world and the history of the U.S. Navy, comprising 53 fast attack submarines, 14 ballistic missile subs, and four guided missile subs. You might have a question though, why are the submarines named after U.S. states? Well, here's a fun fact. In the earlier history of U.S. Navy subs, they were often named after fish or marine creatures. This practice was common in the early to mid 20th century and was in line with naval traditions of naming vessels after sea-related themes. 
Submarines with fish-related names included famous boats like the USS Barracuda, the USS Salmon, USS Nautilus, not to be confused with the first nuclear-powered sub, the USS Nautilus, and others. The tradition of naming subs after fish was eventually replaced by the practice of naming them after states. The shift occurred for several reasons, including a desire to honor and recognize individual states, foster a stronger sense of national identity, and reduce confusion in communication, as the fish names often sounded similar over radio transmissions. Now this is a good opportunity to leave a blue heart in the comments to appreciate and acknowledge the US Navy for upholding global maritime strength. It's no easy task. And at number one, North Korea. Last, but certainly not least, is North Korea at number one. Astonishingly, North Korea is believed to possess an estimated fleet of around 80 submarines, among which approximately 20 are reported to be of the Romeo class, a type that North Korea has modified for its interests. But bear in mind that the exact number of submarines in North Korea's fleet is often kept undisclosed, raising questions and uncertainties. Recent reports highlight North Korea's announcement of a new Korean-style tactical nuclear attack submarine, a development portrayed as significant for its navy. However, analysts advised against accepting these claims outright, and South Korean authorities have expressed reservations about the vessel's actual functionality and capabilities. The new sub notably features 10 missile launch tubes in an attached compartment on its sail, while North Korea has conducted multiple tests of submarine-launched ballistic missiles since 2015, including one in 2022, the submarine's capacity to launch SLBMs remains unclear. Judging by this uncertainty, there's an interesting question that arises. Considering the comprehensive overview of all the countries, which one do you suspect might be understating the true count of its submarines? Are all of them hiding the actual statistics? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like. If you loved it, then please subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you'll be showing us your support, which we truly appreciate and cherish. Keep an eye out as we continue to bring more entertaining and educational content on the US Navy and other maritime topics. So hit that bell icon so you'll receive notification every time we post a new video. Thank you very much. We'll catch you in the next one.